My name is Paul Dano. I am the director of Wildlife. This is a film about family, and right now the father, Jerry, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, has left uh, his family to go and fight these forest fires. And the mother, Jeanette, played by Carrie Mulligan, is taking her son on an unexpected journey to go see them. Right now we're passing what is called the um, stage up, where all the firefighters stay. We went through a lot of work to get some period cars and costumes and all these extras muddied up, all for one shot, because we wanted to sort of keep it from the kid's point of view. We didn't want to break that. Um, so a lot of work for one passing shot. I really like these shots here because it's sort of a super simple and really muscular um, way to, to sort of uh, old school like car driving. Um, again, because it's sort of in line with uh, our kids POV here, but um, frankly, we did not have the budget for like some huge jib arm swinging off of a truck to like circle the camera around the car. And, and, uh, and that was not the aesthetic of this film anyways. I was really trying to keep things simple and clear uh, and kind of get to the essence of whatever the moment was. Here, Joe, played by Ed Oxenbold, is stepping out of the car to look at something that we've really uh, heard quite a bit about in the film thus far, but we haven't yet seen it. This is a scene that was really inspired by the location. We're in Paradise Valley in Montana. It's a really magical place. Um, I had this moment in my head when writing it for years, and as soon as we scouted, suddenly thought of a, a new way to reveal the fire in this film uh, that felt really exciting to me. Do you like it? No. By basically withholding the information. I've always liked that in film, the way information is revealed. You had to see what he finds so important. I'm sorry, we both can't sympathize with him. And then going to this close-up before revealing what the kid is actually looking at and just trying to really be sort of sucked into his face and into his inner life. And here, this is a point uh, when making a film where every director says, it has to be real, it has to be real. And then of course, you're making a film and somebody tells you 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 can't you can't do it for real so <laughs> this was the only shot in the film that i really wanted to burn the heck out of something and uh probably too dangerous and expensive so we used some good trickery and a wonderful vfx team at digital district and we worked for a long time on this on this one shot 